Home is where the heart is. And for the Ohio Bobcats, home is where the games are. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats, and welcome to our Week 8 preview presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. It's the 5-2 and 2-1 two and two and one Bobcats on the 2-5 and five and 1-2 and two Kent State University Golden Flashes from Peden Stadium on Saturday. The scheduling gods have blessed Ohio with a three-game homestand at a key portion of the year. Wow. This is pretty rare to get this amount of home games in a row at this time of the season is most certainly a football blessing. Key contests too, first against Kent State and then those marquee midweek Maxon games against Miami on Halloween and against Toledo the week after that. Ohio near the top of the MAC East. Of course, Akron knocked off Western Michigan this past Sunday, so they're 3-0 in the league. So what you have to do here is be able to reel off these wins at home. Make Peden Stadium a pit for the opposition. Remember, Ohio lost the last home game 26-23 to Central Michigan. Frank Solitz and this ball club, they want to make sure that it's really tough to come into Athens and come out with the victory. So this three-game homestand can certainly help in that matter. And in the standings, too, Ohio doesn't leave the state of Ohio until Thanksgiving for a Black Friday game against Buffalo. And that next road contest is against Akron. So remember, Ohio has a chance to really make that ball game count, put some pressure on the zips, and maybe be at or near the top of the standings after this three-game homestand. Kent State, well, it's meeting number 70 all-time. Ohio has 42 wins, and they've won three in a row against the Golden Flashes. But it's never easy. This one won't be. Last year certainly wasn't either. Just 24 points were scored, and all of Ohio's were in the first half. Neither offense was hot, and the weather certainly mirrored that. It was 44 degrees, windy and overcast at kickoff, and it never seemed to improve. Dorian Brown got Ohio on the board in the first quarter with a 49-yard touchdown run. Malik Irons got in from four yards out midway in the second. The Flash's only first half points came with five seconds left. A 22-yard Shane Hines field goal, 14-3 Bobcats at the half. That was an offensive shootout compared to the second half. The only points came with six minutes left in the third on a Nick Holly three-yard TD run and the resulting PAT. 14-10 Ohio. Nine punts followed and on the ninth, Ohio fumbled. Kent State had the ball at the Ohio 11 with 5.17 left to try to take the lead. They had to go for it on fourth down at the seven and didn't convert. The Cats got the ball back, got a first down and survived 14-10 the final. After the Golden Flash's 11-win Mackey's title 2012 season, they've won just 14 games in the four-plus seasons since. They're in danger of falling under 500 for the 37th time in the last 40 years. Paul Haynes is in his fifth season as their head coach. He took a medical leave for cancer treatments in the first two weeks, but has since returned. KSU always plays a difficult non-conference schedule. They opened at defending national champion Clemson, went to Marshall and Louisville. Combined, KSU was outscored 119-6 in those games. They beat Howard, who beat UNLV 38-31. In the back, they lost to Buffalo 27-13 at Northern Illinois 24-3, and last week beat Miami 17-14. Injury issues have once again hurt. Quarterback Nick Holley is gone for the year with the knee injury, so they've once again turned to George Bolas. He's thrown for two touchdowns and four interceptions. Holley still leads in rushing despite playing only three weeks. Justin Rankin is second with 197. Deshaun Gamble has two rushing touchdowns. KSU is last in the MAC in points per game, total yards, and passing offense. They are fifth in rushing. Their defense can keep them in games. The overall numbers are skewed because of non-conference play, but they do have 10 interceptions. That's ninth in the country. Demetrius Monday has had four in the last six games and 11 career picks. In the last two games, they've had seven sacks. They had three in the first five weeks. Some important trends to follow. Since the start of 2012, when they score more than 27 points, they're 9-1. When they don't, they're 5-39. When they trail at the half, they're 20-6. When they're down at the half, they're 2-35. When they outrush the opposition, they're 22-6. When they're outrushed, they're 3-37. So the recipe for the secret sauce for this slugfest on Saturday will be have a halftime advantage, outgain them on the ground and keep them under 27 points. Ohio has had the lead at halftime five times this year, trailed just once. That was against Purdue. There has been one tie at the break. That was against UMass. 
Ohio is the second best rushing offense in the MAC and the second best rushing defense in the league. That's pretty good. And there have been multiple 100 yard carriers in games, sometimes multiple in contests. Quarterback Nathan Rourke and running back AJ Olette. As far as keeping teams under 27 points, Ohio is right there, giving up 28 points for contest this season. But Ohio has had the ability to make plays defensively, taking a little bit more of a gamble there on the defensive side because the offense is a little bit more high powered than they've been. 15th in the country, right around 39 points for contest and the highest scoring team in this league. And getting another weapon back. Poppy White is expected to play. Kind of a wide receiver running back hybrid, a unique position. Had nine touchdowns last year, one this year. He's missed all but the first three games of the season with a broken hand, so hopefully he'll be back and ready to go against Kent State this week. As for Nathan Ward at quarterback, 20 total touchdowns this season. That's pretty good. 12 on the ground, and that's second best in the country. Just keeps adding to that list. The Canadian QB doing it for the Caps. So it's Ohio and Kent State for the 70th time. Ohio trying to win four in a row in the series. It's on ESPN3. Our buddy Dave Weekly will have the play-by-play -play call. Ryan Boyd, Rob Cornelius, and yours truly will have the call on the Ohio IMG Sports Network. Free game at one with the kick at two. It's Ohio and Kent State. This Game Week preview is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. For Jason Chapino, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Yes, this is Bobcat TV.